Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. The Honolulu Fire Department says a fire in a crowded apartment building in Makali this morning was arson. All 20 residents from four families managed to escape the fire. No one was injured. It began about 3.40 this morning on Haoli Street across from Lunalilo Elementary School. The fire department says this fire was deliberately set. KITV 4's Daryl Huff talked to the displaced families. He joins us live with their stories. Daryl, I understand that most of these residents are immigrants. That's right, Paula. This little building was like a microcosm of Hawaii's immigrant community. Micronesian, Vietnamese, and Korean living side by side, getting along and each trying to succeed here, only to have this fire throw their lives into limbo. The fire started on an upstairs lanai and quickly took hold of the wooden second story. Luckily, smoke alarms and bright flames woke the residents. Hey, was yelling at me, wake up, wake up, there's fire. Downstairs, Lena Hang only had time to grab the things most important to her. I grabbed all of my school stuff, yeah, and my clothes, and I ran out. Hallelujah. Neighbor John Lindsay braved heat that melted his fence. So it came out, shoot water until the firemen came. What was that like, trying to put out that fire with that water? Not worth it. The fire department's response included the new compressed air foam system, which brought the flames under control in less than half an hour. But this morning, the damage was clear. Upstairs was gutted black, almost nothing to salvage. At Lunalilo School, families worked with the Red Cross to begin starting over. Edwin is the sole breadwinner for the nine Micronesian relatives who shared his rare, affordable three-bedroom apartment. <sighs> That's a headache. <laughs> That's a big headache for me now, I'm trying to think. Where should I go from now? He says he'll try and keep the family together, just like home. Back home, we got so much space. When we come here, oh, wow, what a life to live out here. 15-year-old Lena Hang and her Vietnamese-speaking parents have lived in the building since she was born. Yeah, I hope, like, things work out, and yeah. Are you a little scared? Yeah, I'm scared. How come? Because this has never happened to me before, and I didn't think it would ever happen to me. You're 15 years old, mm -hmm. and you have to help out your family. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for that? Kind of, sorry. <laughs> Not really. The Red Cross provided hotel rooms for 11 people. The rest managed to get friends or family to help at least temporarily, Paula. Daryl, have you heard anything more about the arson investigation? Is it possible that someone was trying to kill all these people with this fire? It's possible. It's a really sad thought, but the investigation is just getting started. One resident was told that two people were seen fleeing the area, but he said he doubts anyone actually living in that building would do that. He says everyone got along just fine. All right. Thank you very much, Daryl.